Sindh, one of Pakistan's most populated provinces. Home to 47.8 million people, including 22.9 million women. On average, each of these women has four children over her lifetime. This number is even higher for women living in Sindh's rural areas. Sindh's high population is placing an immense burden on its economic resources. If the population grows at the same rate, it can negatively affect Sindh's development. We all need to address the effects of a rapidly growing population. Family planning is one of the foremost solutions to this problem. We need to raise awareness about family planning to help Sindh prosper. Did you know that the percentage of people in Sindh who use family planning has remained constant for over a decade with a contraceptive prevalence rate at just 29.5%? As a whole, Pakistan's contraceptive prevalence rates are one of the lowest amongst other Muslim countries in the region. Let's see how increasing family planning use from 29.5% to 70% by 2050 can help Sindh's development in the long run. Right now, Sindh has a population of 47.8 million people. If contraceptive prevalence remains at 29.5%, the population will almost double to over 98.5 million by 2050. However, if the use of family planning increases to 70% by 2050, Sindh's population will only grow to about 70.5 million, which is 28 million less people. Sindh is struggling to provide resources to educate its children. If family planning use increases, population growth will slow, decreasing the strain on the province's education resources. As the number of children will be less, the number of teachers and schools needed will also decrease. If family planning use remains at 29.5%, there will be 7.4 million more children in need of education, requiring more teachers and more schools compared to a scenario where family planning use increases to 70% by 2050. If family planning use remains the same, Sindh will have to increase its health expenditures and invest in training more doctors and nurses compared to a scenario with increased use of family planning. Similarly, the labor force will increase drastically if the use of family planning remains the same and the number of new jobs required to employ the population will almost double. However, the economy will not be able to keep up with this high population and GDP per capita will be relatively less. By contrast, if we increase family planning use, we will only need close to 10,000 additional jobs and GDP per capita will increase considerably. Rapid population growth will also affect the demand for water. If population grows at the same rate, we will need much more water and could run out of this precious resource. Similarly, wheat consumption will rise and we will need to produce significantly more wheat to keep up with the growing population. Therefore, increasing the use of family planning can have extensive benefits on development. A rapidly growing population has adverse effects on the whole province. We all need to work together to reduce the strain on Sin's resources. Investment in family planning should be top priority. And this investment needs to start now. Sindh has committed to increasing the contraceptive prevalence rate to 45% by 2020. In 2015, the Sindh Population Welfare Department developed a five-year costed implementation plan to achieve this goal. Reaching this goal will entail expanding access to family planning information, services and methods. What happens if we all work together to achieve this goal? Increasing contraceptive prevalence to 45% by 2020 will mean prevention of over 4 million unintended pregnancies, over 11,000 maternal deaths, and over 27,000 child deaths. It will also save over 12.4 billion rupees in maternal and child healthcare costs. Let's come together and do our part to increase family planning and improve Sin's future. Make a positive impact today to secure a brighter tomorrow.